We want to kick off the show with the state's largest backpack giveaway program. Our own Malou Nubla is with the team at Family Giving Tree in Sunnyvale with more on the amazing work they're doing. Hey, Malou. Hey, Jess, good morning. Yes, you're right there. We are giving backpacks with the Family Giving Tree here in Sunnyvale, partnering along with NBC Bay Area and Telemundo 48 and Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. So tell us how you started the Family Giving Tree. Well, um, I was at San Jose State getting my MBA, and I suggested that we do a Family Giving Tree project, and the other students didn't think it would work. So um, after class, one student came up and said, Jennifer, I thought you had a great idea. Maybe you could do it anyway. Yeah. And we did. Look at you. So how long have you been around? 32 years. 32 years. And you do programs like this, the backpack giveaway, mm -hmm. and also you do something during the holidays. Yep. We've been doing the holiday wish drive now for 32 years, and that is providing specific wishes for individual children in the Bay Area. Um, and the backpack drive, this is our 27th year for that. All right. So tell us what you're doing this year, who you're supporting. We are supporting 250 schools in nine counties in the Bay Area, and we are providing them with brand new backpacks filled with school supplies that are actually appropriate for grade level. How do you select the schools? We choose the ones that have the highest need. So basically that means most of the children, like 90% or more, um, qualify for the free and reduced lunch program. And with all that being said, how many are, actually, are you actually supporting? Um, probably less than 10% of the need. Okay, we're going to fix that then. We need, yeah. we need, we need to get more, right there, get, more, get more donations and everything like that, right? So what, what can people do to help? Um, they can provide backpacks for kids. It's $35. Uh, there's a way to do that very easily on our website. Uh, they can come and volunteer. You can sign up to volunteer on our website. Um, they can spread the word. They can run a drive. We have little kids who have birthday parties and collect backpacks and school supplies instead of gifts. Yeah, that is really nice. Okay, and so show me how this actually works. And so you said it said a donation of $35. Buys a brand new backpack. Okay, so show us, how, beautiful. Show, show us how we do this. We have all the all volunteers right. here too. Nice work, ladies. <laughs> okay, so um, and as, as far as the students, what grades? Uh, we go K through 12, so the kindergartners get uh, crayons and the 12, 12th graders get things like calculators. Okay, is there anything that you really need more of right now? Um, pretty much everything at the moment. So um, highlighters, glue sticks, uh, folders, we do notebooks. Um, pretty much all school supplies. And the cost think. of transportation and everything has really made it harder too, right? Yeah, pre-COVID we were doing filling a backpack for about $25 um, and in, with all these beautiful things, but now it's $35. Yeah. So. Yeah, and then also as far as like these, do you need any, uh, like we were talking about, it's notebooks now, not really binders, No right? more binders, <laughs> yeah. Things have changed since I was in school. Yeah, and then they still have the um, composition books. Yep, yep. Okay. Still need those. Rulers, still need those. You'd Rulers. be surprised how many kids don't have pencils at home. And if how? they don't get a pencil sharpener, they can't sharpen the pencil if it breaks. How many do they need for the school year? Uh, we do 20. They could probably use twice that, but really? this is about what we can afford. Okay, all right. Colored pencils also in need here. Yep, lots of pens. Pens. Oh, look at this. This is new. This is new from, from COVID, actually. Yeah. Earbuds and, and uh, headsets are needed in schools now. Okay, all right. And then also, let's see, tissue. Yep. And okay, this one right here. <laughs> a toothbrush. So these children are living in families that don't have access to dentists. So giving them a toothbrush is the best thing that we can do to keep them healthier. And yeah. it, you'd be surprised that going to a dentist is actually a, yeah. an opportunity that, that they don't get. Okay, and then Jennifer, how does it make the students feel, you know, especially for their mental health and, you know, all that you're doing when you actually give them these backpacks? Well, they know that, that complete strangers care about them, which is a beautiful thing. So it welcomes them and, and um, honors them in our community. Um, but if you actually watch a child open one of these backpacks, you will never believe how excited they would be about a package of pencils oh. or or, you know, colored markers, and they don't have these supplies at home, and so being able to be creative is a really big blessing for them. Yeah, you're helping them succeed. Yes. You do a lot of wonderful things. Okay. Uh, what, what's the end goal for you? Just put it out there, Jennifer. Uh, Let's put it out there. Well, <laughs> we need a warehouse. We need a building of our own. We borrow space every year for both of the drives, yeah. and it's very, very difficult in the Bay Area to do that, and it's way too expensive for us to ever be able to buy one. Um, so we're looking for someone to donate a building for us. All right. Okay. Let's get that for you. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for all you do, and for more information, where, where can people donate? Familygivingtree.org. Okay. Love your hair, too, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> All right, there you go, Jess. Very easy to make a donation. $35 and you get that backpack Absolutely. with all the supplies in there. I'm going to look into that. And I'm actually really sad that binders are not used anymore. Trapper keepers, come on. I loved those. Uh, I know, right? That's, I know. <laughs> Notebooks. <laughs> Notebooks. All right. And thank you, Malou. And you heard it. For more information or if you'd like to donate, just go to familygivingtree.org.